Jesus' creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. <laughs> if so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Foosh! That is the sound of flushing. Oh, really? Oh, Fisher of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. You said something about needing technology to stop Mobius. First you scoop up my brain, now you want me to save you. No, I'm going I'm not going to help you. That is correct, yes. I hope you're not demonstrating resentment now. If you are, well, we can't have that. What makes you so sure that Mobius has my brain? How the hell am I even talking to you right now? That does it. Forget this, I'm not helping you until I get my brain back. We have no idea! This line of questioning isn't important to us right now! Why are you asking these tangential questions? Stop it! We need these technologies. You need to get them. You must get them! You are equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands. And, uh, a heartbeat. Sort of. <laughs> and eyes. Mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Enough! We need your help. Will you help us? Ah, I hope. Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um, they, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. Eight is correct. All we Welcome need to the big empty. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good. For us. Okay. This whole plan sounds dangerous. These devices sound dangerous. But all these technologies... Uh -huh. Nonsense! This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site. Our technology is no more lethal than an overcharged Tesla cannon. The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array, used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic, cardiac dampening, sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this sneaky world has stealth. ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And AIDS sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great bio gel massage. Oh, that sounds awesome. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. The faster I can get through this, the better. Trust me, I want to get over this as quickly as possible. What if I take my time and explore the crater? What illogic is this? Keep your filthy penis tits feet out of our labs and secrets! Uh -huh. There are things here no lobotomite was meant to see. Things that would astound and possibly terrify. Terrify! 
Yeah, we don't come into your lab and decant your solutions. Only the magnificence of our monitors allow for true comprehension of the wonders of Big Mountain. Shield your jellied eyes lest they burn from your skull. Ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet. Penis Much feet. slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames. The little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and rectly, directly. Pylons. What pylons? There's a perimeter. That sounds suspiciously like I can't leave. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. So I can't leave? Why can't you go out there and shut them down? Oh, great, I don't want to hear anyone about that. Oh, uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? If I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? <laughs> Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? What is this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. <laughs> I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module! Mm -hmm. It is truly the end of all intelligence when the lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X-8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X-8. Just as X-8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days. The sadness of my youth. My youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletail and all the kids you hated. You little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What the? What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. <sighs> Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. <laughs> All right. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I 
have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate codes view from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. Okay. Can pick energy weapons? Guns. The sonic gun looks like an energy projectile. Got anything that spits lead? What did it say? Spits lead? What, like pencils? Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns kill. Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse. <laughs> but worse. Dr. Eight is correct. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal sonic death ray, filled with his sonic ejaculate and sterilized by my soft wooing. <laughs> Giving the teddy bear a gun would be the equivalent of following a glass of hemlock with an Abraxo chaser. Delicious and redundantly deadly. If you're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Burroughs, don't you have something like that? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I said that already. Yes, I have <laughs> the Cyberdog gun. With the little floppy metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Fine. Done. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. Anything else, lobotomite? Mm. This gun looks really hungry. I'd like to make sure it gets fed lots of bullets. Fine. Moros, more ammo. The good stuff. Top shelf ammunition. Let's see. Hollow point? That's worthless, but tasty. Oh, and here's some JFP. As if bullets need jackets. The JFP might make it ill and poop a lot, but when you're <laughs> hungry, you're hungry. Okay. Hmm. Nice to shoot you. Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always a weapon. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. Force fields prevent us from moving. Forward or backward. They are irritating. The sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety 